If you have a lung condition or a tracheostomy tube, you may have heard medical professionals talk about using hypertonic saline. Many times, hypertonic saline is used in a nebulizer or squirted directly into the tracheostomy tube. Perhaps you may have wondered what hypertonic saline is and why it is used. Join me this week as I answer those questions. And stay tuned to the end to learn about my experiences with hypertonic saline. Hypertonic saline is any saline which has a sodium chloride concentration above 0.9%. Hypertonic saline may be 3%, 6%, 7%, etc. of sodium chloride. Hypertonic saline has a concentration of saline which is higher than that of body fluids. Remembering back to science class, when a cell is exposed to a hypertonic solution, the water inside the cell will leave in an attempt to balance out the high solute concentration of the solution. The cell loses water and shrinks, and thus the hypertonic solution gains water. When hypertonic saline is used in a nebulizer, the solution which enters the airways has a higher concentration of solute than that which is in the cells lining the airway. The cells release water into the airway and shrink in size. The extra water in the airway helps moisten the mucus and helps thin them out. This will make it easier for a person to clear secretions via coughing or via suctioning if the person has a tracheostomy tube. There are a number of different hypertonic saline concentrations. The higher the concentration of saline, the more water will exit the cells and enter the airway. In general, it is advised to not mix hypertonic saline with other medicine. There is a lot of debate on how well hypertonic saline works. Ideally, the method is as follows. When a higher concentration of saline enters the airway, Water from cells is released into the airway, which in turn adds water to the mucus. However, hypertonic solutions of sodium chloride causes irritation to the airways. This may in turn cause the airways to produce more mucus, and now a conundrum has been created. Although the hypertonic saline adds water to the airway, it may also increase the amount of mucus produced, which in turn may make clearing the airways more difficult. Please consult with your medical provider to discuss if you should use normal saline or hypertonic saline. A common treatment for people with cystic fibrosis is using 7% hypertonic saline in a nebulizer. In individuals with cystic fibrosis, their sputum is extremely thick and is very hard to cough up. Research has shown that using 7% hypertonic saline in people with cystic fibrosis twice a day in a nebulizer helps reduce the number of lung infections. A research study found giving children under 2 years old who had bronchiolitis 3% hypertonic saline in a nebulizer had favorable outcomes. Side note, bronchiolitis is the inflammation of the small airways in the lungs. The study also suggested using nebulized hypertonic saline in children under 2 years old with bronchiolitis may reduce the risk of hospitalization among outpatient and emergency department patients. People often ask me if I use hypertonic saline. The answer is no. I do not like hypertonic saline because it really aggravates my airways and makes me cough up a lot of mucus. I find when I use just regular normal saline, which is 0.9% saline, my mucus becomes very thin. I can easily get rid of it and I don't have all this excess secretions that seem to happen whenever I'm given hypertonic saline. When I'm in the hospital, they often want to give me hypertonic saline and I really have to beg and plead with them, no, I just want regular normal saline. Sometimes that's not always possible. And for whatever reason, they don't have normal saline with them. They only have hypertonic saline. So this can cause a lot of issues. However, I have found that nurses always have the syringes, these syringes that are 0.9% saline, just the regular old saline, and they have these, and you can actually use the saline in these syringes. 
for nebulizing. So if the respiratory therapist doesn't have normal saline, which occasionally does happen, I'm able to get a syringe full of normal saline from the nurse and then just put that into my saline or my nebulizer cup and inhale that for my saline treatments. And I find that works very, very well and very, very convenient. But again, please talk to your medical provider. Perhaps hypertonic saline is the best for you. But personally for me, I use just regular normal saline. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. Please also remember to comment and share. It really helps this YouTube channel. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.